G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm of course Okaflos and today we're going to be taking a look at the Path of Champions, The Legend of Serentera. We're going to be doing the 4 star targeting campaign against Aurelia and Sol and we're going to be using Teemo for today's run. So we're finally taking a look at it with Teemo today and I'm super duper excited for this one because quite frankly Teemo I think as we all know is probably one of the uh, strongest champions that has been uh, you know introduced in the Path of Champions so far. It's also probably one of the best to use in the ASOL quite frankly because of the way he works. Alright, so let's quickly go over the build real quick. So Level 30 Teemo here with 3 stars, which is just amazing. Uh, in terms of the star powers here, arm and ready too. When allies attack, plant 10 poison puff caps on random cards in the enemy deck. Strike swiftly, plus 1 starring mana. When your opponent draws a card with 1 or more poison puff caps on it, create a fleeting poison dart in hand. It is burst speed. So these two powers are just absolutely disgusting because essentially, um, you know, we are going to be consistently planting a lot of puff caps on the enemy deck. And if we bring on a leveled up Teemo, uh, what's going to happen is that we are just going to immediately and instantly just double up the amount of puff caps we're just going to easily and automatically kill the enemy because it's just going to keep drawing cards and potentially triggering the mushrooms there so yeah it's just a really really sketchy and a cheesy and scummy tactic if you will <laughs> all right so in terms of the champion level i am going with a level 30 teemo here that means i do have access to the uh, forest star nexus self and most importantly the rare relic slot tree i also have access to the level 20 heroes welcome which i think is going to be really really important because we need to consistently get a teemo uh in terms of the relics itself i am going with a gale force and double curators here i I think this is probably the best way and the best build to go with a team over here. I initially contemplated or thought about going with triple curators, but then I thought, you know what, the damage output with the Gale Force is actually much more. With the triple curators, you're only going to be able to deal damage one time. With the Gale Force instead, you, even though you lose out on one curators, you're going to be able to consistently trigger more curators uh, so consequentially or subsequently. So it's definitely much better in the long run. So I think that's the idea here. Uh, Timo is a really straightforward champion. Level up when he plants 15 plus poison puff caps. Next is strike plant 5 poison puff caps that's why we're going with the double curators and one gale force here all right so let's quickly head back out and we are going to get this adventure started All right, we're all loaded in. First things first, let's see what the Aurelian Sol is running. He has a perfected mana flow, which could be a little bit scary, but I think it should be manageable. Uh, we have a Swain here with the level up, which isn't too great. Gangplank down here has a power overwhelming, and Tom Kench is a unstable inventory. All right, so let's head to this first note here first and see what we pick up in terms of the power. Yips Genius, Counterfeit Production, Dragon's Rage. Ideally, Yip's Genius would be good because we have a Teemo here. Uh, but I want to reroll because, quite frankly, I want to see if we could get a duplicate or something. That could be far better with the, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the Curator's Gatebreakers or something. So, yeah, we're going to see if we could get that. Someone an ally survives damage, grant the weakest ally. Let's reroll again. There we go. Copy the first card you play each turn. Amazing. We're going to pick this up. <laughs> All right, let's head to the Tom Kent here. Alright, so we're gonna reroll these because they aren't too great. We'll probably just keep the chump one because we can't play it on turn 3 or turn 4. Uh, we should have the Teemo guaranteed on turn 1. This is gonna be an insane run, guys. I have the feeling. Let's go ahead and just drop the Teemo here and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> 30 puff caps on one summon. That's gonna be crazy. Okay, let's attack here. I'm also gonna constantly open this menu for you guys just to, you know, show you guys the amount of puff caps, you know, just to keep track of things. And let's see if we could get an insane amount here. Alright, so we're gonna attack with this first. The scout, of course, with the Gale Force. That's great. Oh god, we're gonna attack again. This should go up to uh, f uh, 640 if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe more than that. Maybe 7 something. Let's see. 680, okay. Alright, so let's end the round.
Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Alright, we are gonna instant win games here. And we have a Green Glade duo with the uh, Plant Tree Poison Puff Cap. So we're just gonna pick this up. Anything that gives us Puff Caps will be great here. Alright, so let's head to the Support Champion. We get a Tom Kench, we get a Scion and a Yone. I really don't want to spend the reroll here, so I think we'll probably just pick up something that's fairly useful. Tom Kench and Yasuo has both capture. The capture on the Tom Kench could be great because that's just going to accelerate his uh, level up, actually. So I think we're just going to go with the Tom Kench. Alright, let's see. We have a item chest, a gold chest, and a Adaptatron. I think we might just head to the item chest here, so we're going to want to take on the Jin. Alright, so we're gonna re uh, hard reroll for the Teemo, I guess, because, you know, the last thing we need is essentially the hero's welcome here, accidentally drawing us a uh, Tom Kench or something. The Tom Kench isn't bad, but, you know, the Teemo is definitely a win condition here. Alright, so I think we're gonna reroll the Fortune Croaker, the, Con the Conchologist, and I think the Stress Defense as well. We'll probably keep the Green Glade Duo in case we need the uh, Puff Caps here, as well as the Elusive, of course. And we get a Tom Kench, which isn't great. We really need the Teemo. Uh, it's not too bad, of course. Let's just put on the box Boxtopus first. Alright, we get a Teemo. Great. Let's actually put him on. Alright, we're gonna attack like so. Probably gonna kill some of our Teemos here, right? No, straight to the Nexus. Interesting. Alright, let's attack again. Uh, we'll attack with everything this time. Because we've triggered the scout. Actually, we could have brought on the Green Glade duo as well. Yeah, it's not. It's cool. We should still have enough damage to win here. <laughs> 680 buff caps. Amazing. Oh, I forgot about the unyielding. Ah, okay, okay. So that's really, really smart here. Alright, so we'll just drop one of these Teemos. Oh my lord, the unyielding could actually be great, great because we could get a lot of, you know, buff caps here, which could be kind of crazy. Uh, let's drop the... Let's probably just play a sum fume. So, you know what, let's drop the green glade duo. It doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, yeah, let's actually just play the sum fumes and kill it here. It doesn't really matter, like I said. We should have the win next turn. 10, 4, 4, 8. What in the world? I, I want to see what's the highest, you know, uh, puff cap so far. You know, I, I think this might be one of the highest. 10, 4, 4, 8, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not really sure. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we're gonna go with a, I think... Well, probably a Poro Cannon here, if I'm going to be frank with you. The Basilisk Bloodseeker here. Deal one to an ally and an enemy four times. Not that great because we don't really have too many beefy units. Uh, consult the Heavens, then grow its power equal to its health. Isn't too great. It's a really, it's an expensive spell to six costs. I think Poro Cannon might be the best. Chances are we're not going to play it, so we'll probably just keep it uh, as a pocket option, if you will. Alright, so I think we're going to head to the item chest here. Or do we want to head to the gold chest? Because, you know, if we head to the gold chest, we have the option of either one. And if either of these are good powers, we can potentially go to them. Uh, that means we are going to give up an item here, however. Okay, I think it should be fine. Let's head to the gold chest here. 
Let's see, we have a Honored Lord and a Spells Chest. Well, we probably should have then headed up to the item chest instead. But there was no way of knowing, so it's cool. Alright, so I think we might just head to... Let's see who's easier. So join his unstable inventory as well as power overwhelming. I think Sojourney might be easier because uh, Ezreal here has the removal in the form of the Static Shock and whatnot. Alright, we're gonna head to the Sojourney. Alright, so again, we're gonna hard reroll for our team or we'll keep the greenlit lookout in case we need a unit. And we get a Tom Kench again. What is it with the Tom Kench? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Let's just drop the green light duo here. On, okay, we do get the Teemo. Great. Let's bring him on. Alright, we're gonna attack with the Teemo, of course. Scout trigger first. Hundred and sixty. Alright, let's drop the box to us here. That way we could kill this ruthless raider. And we actually win here, right? Yeah, we actually win here. <laughs> Alright, so we get a Practical Perfectness, a pra Practical Perfectionist, I should say, a Fan Club President, and a Year Been Warned here. Given enemy vulnerable with a Dice Draw 1, I think we might just go with a Practical Perfectionist. Play, predict, create three copies of the uh, chosen card in hand that could be decent. So we were gonna pick this up. Let's head to the spell chest here. Uh, shield Vault, Inner Beast, Inner Beast, and a Monkey Business. I think we'll probably just go with a Shield Vault, I guess. Grant an ally is fairly decent with a stun as well. Could be useful. Right, let's head to the shop here. We're gonna buy a power, of course. We get Attack Grow My Health to match my power. I really don't want to spend a reroll because this is a common shop note. I'd rather keep it for one of these, uh, you know, power notes, of course, or potentially a shop note here or a shop note somewhere around here. So I think we're just gonna uh, just see if we could, you know, probably purchase something else. You know what? I think this power is not too bad. We'll just still pick it up. It's cool. But we're definitely not gonna reroll. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and head to the Gangplank here. As usual, we're gonna hard reroll for the Teemo. And we do get two of them, which is great. That means the odds of drawing the Thumb Genji is much higher now. <laughs> Alright, let's bring the team on. I tell you what, this is what we'll do. Let's play this Mushroom Cloud first. No that way we get four mu uh, more mushrooms onto the deck. And we double that, that means mathematically we should be getting more actually, right? We should be getting 70 and 140 instead of uh, 60 and 120. Okay, so this team was going to get recalled anyway, so it's cool. Let's just commit this. We'll get even more because of the star power, of course. It's going to be 90 and 180 if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Attack again, and we should get, I think, about 200. Uh, well, not 200, but I think around 300 something. Maybe even more, actually. 760. Wonderful. All right, we're gonna end the round.
insta win. We get a quick strike blade with the Teemo, which could be fairly decent. I really want a shadow totem or something, but I'm not gonna deny this quick strike blade here. We are just gonna pick this up. It could be really useful, especially on a defensive turn where we don't have the attack, because you know, after we play with the quick strike blade, the scout will trigger and we get a bonus of attack of our own. So it's basically like an inbuilt rally, if you will. Alright, so we're just gonna pick this up. It looks great. Okay, let's go to the power here. And we get the Rally, of course. <laughs> Not that we needed a Quick Strike Blade. Alright, it's cool. We're still gonna pick this up. The Rally is a really, really useful one. So we're gonna definitely grab that. Uh, and let's see. We have a Ash with the Unyielding and a Zoe with an Unyielding here. This is a Sparring Student. This is a Gold Chest and this is an Item Chest. I think we're just gonna head to the Item Chest here. So let's head up to the Ash. Alright, so as usual, we're gonna hard reroll for the Teemo here. I know these are really cheap units, but I really want a Teemo. And we don't get the Teemo, which could be bad. And we get a Tom Kench again. Why? Why is the Tom Kench so attached to me? <laughs> um, it's fine, it's fine. We're just gonna discard, I think. We'll discard the... No, let's not discard, because this will actually copy the discard, which isn't great. We'll probably play Box to Puss first. Alright, now we'll discard. We'll probably discard the Conchologist, I guess, right? No, let's not do that. You know what? Let's just attack. Let's just attack. Let's not play too smart. Let's just attack, drag this guy here, get the tree damage. I could really use a Teemo if the deck wants to give me a Teemo, of course. Play control just here. Uh, let's go with a... I guess we'll go with a death ray here. Alright, I think we'll actually play the death ray first. Let's get rid of this guy. That way we get some good damage. Alright, I don't think we're gonna muck about. Let's attack straight up, because that Ash is gonna come on here. Let's play a Poison Dart as well, just kill it. Uh, no, kill it, but deal damage to the Nexus, of course. Get more Shrooms onto the deck as well. Might not have- we might have to rely on, uh, you know, our units and not on Teemo. Can actually play some Fumes here if we want to. It might be useful to do that because we are having a lot of units here. Alright, so I think we'll just play a some fumes to the ash here. We'll probably play one of it. End the round. Avarosa, guide me. Alright, we're gonna immediately kill the Ash here. Yeah, let's do that. Right, so we'll probably just play the stress defense. Actually, we'll not do that. Let's just put the 2-2 two -two here. Just sack this guy. It's cool. We'll bring on the green glade because we have the puff caps here. That Ash is unyielding, we need to be mindful of that as well, but I think it should be fine. Uh, let's attack like so. Track this guy here. We'll attack like so. Where's that Teemo? We need that Teemo, goddammit.
I have a feeling an Ash is going to come on here, right? It might be worth to, you know, when Ash comes on, we just play a Tom Kench and capture it. That could be fairly worth it. You know what? Let's just attack with what we've got first. It's a free Nexus. We'll just attack with what we've got. Uh, Bull Elmuk. Okay. I think we'll drop the Ava here. You know what? Let's just probably play some poison, uh, poison dart first. No, you know what? we'll play the Ava here because it could double the effect of the puff caps. I forgot about that. And two Avas with a duplicate is gonna be crazy. All right, let's just play poison dart. We'll probably deal one to this guy, to the Nexus. Get more um, stuff into the Nexus. We really need that Teemo. Really, really need that Teemo. Deal two. Um, okay, I tell you what, let's play Poison Dart first. Bring on the Trump Wump here. Maybe we get more shrooms. It will kill this Ava, but it's cool. We'll let that happen. Actually, no, we can't avoid that. We'll probably play a Stress Defense. Alright, we'll attack with this 3 2 here, and we should be okay. We'll slowly just whittle down the Nexus if we kind of the Teemo. It's really unfortunate, though. Alright, so I guess we'll just put this 2-2 two -two here and... I guess we'll just put the 3-3 tree -tree here, right? You know, oh, you know what? We'll put the 5-5 five -five here. We have the um, Poison Dart, which we could kill it next turn, which is great. Alright, uh, let's pass the turn. Alright, I think you guys can clearly see how important or how integral the Teemo is to the success of this stack. If we don't get the Teemo, it could be kind of scary, which I think it should still be fine though. We have a Zonai Urchin with another special delivery here. Let's just go ahead and pick this up. We're definitely going to want to pick up some upgrades for Teemo just to increase the odds of us drawing him, uh, which, you know, I think is important. So let's see, a Sparring Student and a Item Chest here. We're going to head to the Item Chest, of course. Uh, plus 2, plus 0 and Greenglade Duo support on the Puff Cap Pup. We're going to upgrade the Greenglade Duo here. Right, we're gonna take on the Fiora at the Unstable Inventory. Alright, get the Teemo here, which is great. Contrologist can go. I think the Tom can go as well. We'll just keep the Zonai Urchin in case we need to discard something. But we're probably just gonna play the Teemo straight up. Teemo on. Alright, so I th I'm just realizing something here. That free attack and rally combo isn't too great because with the free attack, right, it's only going to affect the one that you summon, the one that you actually played, the copy that I actually played. That means this second one doesn't attack as well. So because that free attack, I'm not sure if this is the way the free attack mechanic works, of course, but if it is the way it works, you know, fair play. But, you know, the the way this works so far is that the free attack triggers that, that scout and essentially, it, you know, it's considered an attack. So... Yeah, that's probably a little bit unfortunate. If um, if I'm not mistaken, I hope I got the understanding correctly. I believe the free attack should trigger first before the scout. That way we get the damage off and then we still get the scout attack, I think. Uh, hopefully I interpreted that correctly, so do correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and drop the Zonai Urchin here and we're going to discard this Poro Cannon. Alright, so the scout's already triggered, which is kind of unfortunate. We're just going to have to attack with everything here. Uh, let's just hang this guy back, actually, because it's not going to do damage to the Citria. Wait, I actually should have attacked because this guy had the special delivery, right? 
yeah. We're actually doing less, you know, puff caps that way, which is kind of a shame. I really hope we didn't pick up the rally there, so all things considered, it was probably a bad decision by me. <laughs> Well, we still win regardless, so I'm not really sure what I was complaining about. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and pick up an upgrade here. I think we'll just go with these some fumes here. Draw a champion is nice. Alright, let's head to the shop. Grab a power, we get a memory game. Fleeting is a... Create hand a fleeting copy of the last non-fleeting card you played. That could be fairly decent, actually. Or do you want to spend the reroll? You know what? I think we'll keep the reroll for one of these uh, free powers here. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab this uh, uh, memory game. It could be fairly useful. It could also be fairly bad because that means that we have a lot of cards and if we get a recall on the Teemo, we could potentially, you know, essentially mill ourselves here. I think we'll still pick it up. I think it should be okay. I hope I'm right. Alright, so I don't think we want any cards here, so we're just gonna leave. Let's just go ahead and head to the Rekindler or the Spell Chest. I think Spell Chest might be better. Nautilus here with Perfected Mana Flow, Darius with Unstable Inventory. I think both are fairly tough. We're just gonna head to the Darius here because, you know, I think it should be fine. Alright, we get the Teemo here, which is great. The Shield Vault as well. I think we should be able to start with this. This seems like a fairly good start. Teemo on. Block as we can't because we can't block, of course. Let's just attack with what we've got. Like I said, we'll be dealing uh, less mushrooms to the next, which is kind of a shame, but it's cool. If we're lucky, we might even just get a win here instantly. <laughs> Not quite. Well, let's go ahead and drop the Teemo here again. Alright, so we get a phage on the Ava here. We're gonna pick this up. This looks like the best. Now we're gonna head to the spells chest. And double trouble elixir of wrath and a guile here. I think we might just leave actually, because we don't really need any of these spells if I'm gonna be honest. Stun, doubling dice. Eh, you know what? We'll pick it up. I'm not really sure that's gonna be too useful. We'll just pick it up, just in case. Uh, let's head to the healer here. We'll grab the tree health. Actually, we don't need to, but I think we're at full, right? Uh, no, we're almost at full. Okay, tell her, let's cut a card instead. Let's see if we could cut out some unnecessary cards. I believe there's a couple, right, if I'm not mistaken. I will try not to spend too much time here. We'll probably get rid of something like the fortune croaker we're not really playing. Uh, the stun could be fairly useful. I tell you what, we'll get rid of the fortune croaker. Let's go ahead and cut this. Alright, we're gonna head to the swain here. Take him on. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hard reroll again and see if we could get the Teemo. I'm probably regretting picking up the stun. Well, it could be useful into the ASOL, I hope it is. But uh, let's see if we could get a Teemo here. Beautiful. That is kind of scary, actually. We'll still drop the Teemo, though. <laughs> Only the 
Okay, tell you what, we'll sack one Teemo because the chances are we're going to be able to get the Teemo back. We, can, we, we are able to bring on, and too many Teemos is kind of useless, I would say. Well, not useless, but it's going to fill up the hand a little bit. And I really don't want to take too much damage here in case, you know, we drag out this battle. So what we're going to do is we're probably just going to block this Zed here. We'll let the Ephemeral strike. It doesn't really matter, regardless. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play Poison Dart first. Oh, no. Oh, I screwed up. I screwed up. We should have brought on the Teemo first because that's going to duplicate the Teemo. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a terrible mistake here. Um, I think it should still be salvageable, I hope. Let's just go ahead and drop this Teemo here. I hope it doesn't bite us in the arse because that could be bad. Um, okay, it's cool. You, you you go ahead and kill this Teemo action. Doesn't really matter. We can just bring on another one. All right, all right. Kind of lucky here. We are uh, we are really really lucky here. It was a terrible mistake by me on my part. I will not deny that. Nothing like the great outdoors. All right, let's attack again. Eleven seven forty. <laughs> well, we should have the win next turn. Well, two things. Uh, first of all, I'm sorry about that. That was a really, really sloppy play by me earlier. And I also believe I forgot to show you. I forgot to remove my cursor from that, uh, uh, that you know, that the enemy's deck. I wanted to show you the amount of mushrooms in the deck. And I forgot to remove it when the mushrooms were actually, uh, you know, connecting there. I believe it was 317 mushrooms. So, yeah, I apologize about that. <laughs> all right. Anyway, let's go ahead and pick up an upgrade here. We get Regeneration, Flash Bomb, Satchel, and Farsight Alteration. I think we're going to go with the Farsight here because, you know... I know this seems a little bit, you know, weird because after all, we are going to get a guaranteed champion draw with the hero's welcome. But I am not really trustworthy of the AI. I am concerned that it might give us a Tom Kench. And in the event that we do get a Tom Kench, the Farsight Oration on the Teemo will guarantee that we get a Teemo. So it could be a waste of an item, but I think it's a really important item. We're going to pick this up. All right, let's hope we get a insane power here. Frostbite, Chrono Break. I think we might just spend the rerolls here. Uh, high Education, Memory Game again, and draw two. Let's reroll one final time. Let's try Fair and My, draw one, and Allies nap one. These aren't that great. The nap is really, really bad, actually, because, you know, once we, once we nap something from the enemy deck, that puff cap damage is actually going to deal to our Nexus. So it's kind of scary and, you know, not great. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go with the... Try Fair and Might here because we are going to be filling our hand already, so I really don't want to mill ourselves. Uh, let's just go to Try Fair and Might here. It might be useful, it might not. We'll just pick it up. Let's head to the Jinx. Alright, so I think we should be able to start with this. Actually, let's get rid of the Zonai Urchin, the Stress Defense, and the Boxtopus. We'll keep the Ava just in case we need to play it. Let's drop the Teemo. Like Must always remember to play the Teemo first to, you know, trigger the duplicate. Must sear that in the back of my mind. <laughs> is planting your All right, let's resolve this. I think we'll play a stun here, and we'll probably just stun this elusive. Oh, 
Uh, we'll probably take the damage here. It's cool. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. We can survive this. Let's attack again. Get the scout damage, of course. Uh, not the scout damage, but the nexus damage and the mushrooms. Teemo on. Remember, always play Teemo first. Can we actually get a win here? Beautiful. 5,530. <laughs> oh, wait. The Jinx is unyielding. Okay, okay. So we might be able to see how much, you know, um, Nexus damage we get here. Let's play this Mushroom Cloud just to, you know, get more, ne get more shrooms on. Um, let's even play the poison dart. Deal one to the nexus. It's cool. Oh, actually, you should have stunned here one of the poros. Ah, I screwed up. I screwed up again. Um, <laughs> well, I think it should be fine. We should have more than enough mushrooms here. I mean, 11,000. It's not too shabby. We should be able to get the victory fairly comfortably. Um, yeah, we're going to pass the turn. Attacking is stupid here, so we're going to pass. Unless it does a mystic shot, of course, which is fine. Uh, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and pick up the upgrade to the Ava here. Remember, Acceptor isn't too bad. Let's see if we can get a really good power here in the shop. Uh, Hextap Observatory, not the best, but we'll just still pick it up. Because, you know, we could potentially play some spells and we might need the mana refill if we need to, if we need to, if, if we desperately need it, of course. Star Free Attack when exact ephemeral copy of each ally. This is great, especially with the Teemo. We are going to pick this up. No question about it. Let's go ahead and pick up, I think. You know, let's pick up three copies. It's fine. Alright, I don't really think we need anything else. Actually, this Unyielding Spirit could be decent, but you know what, let's not, let's not, uh, you know, pollute our hand too much with, uh, sorry, not pollute our hand, but pollute our deck with too many cards. We're just gonna leave it, let's go ahead and head to the uh, Irelia here. Alright, so we have a Stun and a Chump Womp here. I think we'll just keep this. We can, of course, just play this straight up. Ah, okay. Now this is where things get a little bit challenging. Hmm. Now if Re Irelia attacks, there's no Blade Dance, right? But I really don't want to play the Gal as well because that Teemo will not get the duplicate. Hmm. You know what? I think this. I think the stun is important. This is ten damage here, which isn't great. So we we were gonna have to sacrifice the turn one duplicate because that Irelia is guaranteed to attack since it's out of mana already. All right, so we're gonna stun it here. No choice. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, uh, you gotta be kidding me. Zero cost plate dance, was it? Oh my lord, what in the world? Hold on, hold on, let me just double check. Was that a zero cost plate dance? Yeah, ma mana, mana reduction. Oh crap. Well, we still take damage here, which isn't great at all. But you know what? It is what it is. Uh, we're just we're still drop the Teemo. Uh, let's play a Mushroom Cloud here because we are going to get a guaranteed Teemo next turn. Yeah, let's do it. 
We get more puff caps on and we double even more that way, I believe. 55, that should be 200 something. Uh, oh, right, we only have one of it. Okay, okay, my apologies. All right, so we're gonna end around here. Oh, the fleeting copies the sp Oh, it, it copies the spell. Okay. I thought it would copy an exact copy of it, right? Hold on, hold on. Let me just double check what it says. Create in hand a fleeting copy of the last non-fleeting card you played. Oh, it didn't say exact copy. So it probably just copied the champion spell. I was hoping, you know, it copied the... I um, mean, I was hoping it copied the champion spell, the team of Mushroom Cloud. That way, this would transform back to a team of... But yeah, apparently it just copies the spell. Okay, so that's my bad. I didn't really understand how that works. But it's cool. I think we'll just drop the Teemo here. Rest of the game, when you blade dance someone in an attacking blade, blade dance one. Uh, we're probably gonna have to sack one of the Teemos here. Yeah, we have to sack one of the Teemos here. If not, we're gonna die. So we are gonna go ahead and just commit this then. We'll probably just drop a poison dart onto the Nexus. All right, we are gonna attack again. Six, nine, one, four. You know what? We'll probably just play parallel. Nah, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's uh, end around first. I think we should have enough uh, damage here, right? Sixty-nine, fourteen. Wonderful. Alright, so stress defense, droid champion, it's fine, we're gonna pick this up. There's one problem here which is really, really um Alright, so there's one problem here which is going to be really, really scary, right? Because we are at 19 health, we're going to be taking on the Zed, and he has a duplicate as well. We might have to end up spending the revive here, but I will try my best not to do it, because I would like to keep that for the ASOL. Alright, we're going to take him on. Oh lord, he has the attack token again, why? God damn it. Well, we're going to spend the rerolls here, let's just keep the puff cap up. We might need to use it to block the Zed, which... I think the Zed will win here, because with the attack token, he's just gonna summon the Zed and he's gonna win. Yeah, because, you know, the strike thing, the Zed power, which is the uh, Blade in the Darkness, we need the reroll here. Why does the AI get the reroll? So damn unlucky. Alright, I think we'll just drop the Teemo. I don't think we're gonna win this. Realistically, there's really no way of winning this, in my opinion. Yeah, no chance. No chance. Because I'll tell you what's gonna happen. We're gonna put the Teemo here. Uh, we're gonna put the Teemo here, right? These two will attack, we'll get 20 damage. When the round ends, the Zed is still gonna survive. It's just gonna deal 3 because of the Blade in the Darkness. So we're gonna have to surrender here. We can't really work with this. We need that damn attack token. If we have the, if the Zed gets the attack token, we can't do anything, which is kinda unfortunate. Alright, let's try this again. This is really bad. If, you know, if we somehow lose to the Zed here, I'm gonna flip out because essentially this Teemo is supposed to be easy. And we're struggling against the Zed. Okay, we get the attack token this time. We need the Teemo, however, so we're gonna hard reroll for that. Alright, 
Oh lord. Okay, we do get the Teemo. Great. I was I, I was a little bit you know angry there because we got the Tom Kench. Uh, we'll drop the Teemo, of course. All right, now we have a chance. All right, Zonai Urchin, we're gonna discard the box to us here. The only reason why we're playing the Zonai Urchin is because we want a special delivery. That way we could get more, uh, you know, mushrooms here. I believe the scout has already triggered, right? Yeah, the scout has already triggered. So we're gonna attack with everything here. Three seventy-two. I hope this, you know, gives us enough mushrooms to kill here. Oh no, we've lost. God damn it! You have got to be joking with me, right? You have got to be joking. No, actually, we might not have lost here. We can bring on two Teemos. That could be eight damage. Yeah, I think that might be it. That might work actually. Please be enough. Oh, that's enough. Wonderful. Never underestimate the power of the scout's code. All right, the stakes are raised. We're going to be heading into ASOL with no revives, and we need to pray that we get the attack token. I am just going to pick up the Chump Bomb upgrade here, uh, and we're going to take on the dragon. We do get the attack token, wonderful. We are as usual gonna hard reroll for the Teemo. Wonderful. And I think we have to win here. I am confident that we should have to win here. Let's just drop the Teemo first. And let's see how many mushrooms this, you know, battle will be. Or uh, will, will, will render, I would say. Okay, it can stun us, it's cool, it's just gonna get recall anyway. We are just gonna attack like so. Get more mushrooms on. Three sixty. We're gonna pray that we get some shrooms here. Oh lord, it's a Jarvan. I am a bit concerned, but I think the Teemo should be able to circumvent that. That ace is gonna come on next turn. All right, it's cool. Let's drop the Teemo here. Five seventy-eight. All right, so we're definitely gonna want to block here. So sacrifice this team, which is cool. We have a lot of other units we can play. We can actually play stress defense if we want to. Um, yeah, I think it might be worth to play stress defense. That way we could have something to, you know, uh, we we could still have one team who survive and attack. That's two mana though, which I think it should be fine. We'll play it. Let's just transform. I think we'll just transform this, um, hold on. Attack pay my cost from start. Uh, you know what, I think we'll just transform this 8-8 uh, eight eight here. At least we prevent the fury. Oh wait, I forgot we had the Hextech Observatory. Okay, that's definitely good. Um, let's put on a Poison Dart as well. We'll probably just increase the amount of m uh, mushroom damage, I would say. Let's grab a, let's grab the Fleeting Mushroom Cloud as well. Get more shrooms on. Me. 
Uh, let's just attack with this Teemo here. <laughs> 22, 3, 48 ne uh, mushrooms on 34 cards. You know what? I don't think we might even need the next turn. We should have the win here. Let's see. 22, 3, 48. Alright guys, so that is the run against Aurelian Sol done here with the Teemo and this was kind of insane actually because you know the amount of damage we got onto the ASOL, uh, 678 damage if I'm not mistaken and the amount of mushrooms was around 22k, 22,000 so kind of insane, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really have the best set of powers, well you know I'm, I'm, I, I sit here complaining that I got a duplicate but I didn't get the shadow totem and whatnot which is still uh, fairly alright the duplicate I don't deny but ideally I would have preferred if I could have gotten the uh, shadow totem as well as the um what is it the uh stabilized there that way we could get even more mushrooms onto the nexus and i think that would be absolutely crazy but you know this isn't too bad as as, as well duplicate round start rally um you know the trifarian might is also fairly nice even though it's not too useful memory game was surprisingly good if i'm gonna be honest and the hex observatory as well so definitely a really good set of powers here now i'm not gonna lie guys if you guys are attempting this for yourselves you might want to look into getting some spell shields because essentially you are probably gonna need it uh heading in to the uh, Aurelian Sol, mainly because, well, you need some form of protection in case your Teemo dies. I got kind of lucky there because I got a couple copies, but yeah, in case it didn't, it might be worth having a spell shield. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this run here on the channel, and if you did, consider leaving a like as well as subscribing. I really do appreciate your support, but most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of Legends of Runeterra or Path of Champions content just like this one. With that being said, this is Gavilo signing off. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for joining me as well. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.